Marshmallows are the way to my heart. You guys always ask what it's like to be a Disney cast member, and I'm gonna tell you what it's really like to be a Disney cast member. This is one of the very rare places that you get to meet blue dress Ariel, which is obviously Ariel in her blue dress when she's not a mermaid. Well, she still is a mermaid, but she has legs, you know. You know what I mean. Hi guys, I got the figment hat. Oh my gosh. The world is our oyster. I have been. Should we do that? I asked you guys to put your Disney crush in a little question box on Instagram one time on my story, and one of you guys put Flick. So whoever that was, this is for you. Hey guys, it's Caitlin, and today I'm going to be starting another week in my life video. Today is Sunday, so I'm actually starting at the start of the week, and we're going to continue throughout this week. It's going to be such a fun one. I have a lot of fun planned, so that's why I'm going to be taking you guys along with me. I have work today, so it's not the most eventful day this week, but I did want to start with the beginning of the week. Hey guys! Before work today, I wanted to take a little pit stop at Dunkin' Donuts because my favorite drink in all of existence is back. If you guys have watched my videos in the past, you might have seen me drink this before, but it's literally, ah, it's my favorite thing in the whole entire world. Dun, 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 dun. This is the most beautiful thing ever. This is my favorite drink. This is the pink velvet macchiato. I don't know if it's supposed to be like a red velvet flavor. It's honestly just sweet and good and incredible, and I 10 out of 10 recommend Obviously, it's not something that you should be drinking every single day because I'm pretty sure the dyes in this are probably not good for you And there's also probably a lot of sugar in it But it's only out once a year. So like treat yourself. Look at how pink the whole entire drink gets <laughs> I'm so excited for today, especially now that I have my pink velvet macchiato. All right, let's go I am done with work. I am back home now. It is currently 1.08 in the morning, so I worked a later shift today. I was always a morning person, and now I'm no longer one, obviously. Today was a super fun day at work. I absolutely loved it. I've been training a lot recently because in the new year, we got a whole bunch of new Disney College program participants joining us in Adventureland at Magic Kingdom, which is where I work. I specifically train a lot of GLOW. So GLOW is a section of Adventureland, and we're the ones that are in charge of all of the GLOW carts throughout Magic Kingdom. It's one of my favorite things ever to train new cast members on GLOW just because it is such an intimidating role at first because you're out all by yourself on a GLOW cart surrounded by so many guests and selling so many things. So a lot of people come into the role very scared, but it's one of my favorite things to help them build confidence and independence and learn to love GLOW as much as I do. I just talked on for so long and it's one in the morning, so I'm gonna get ready for bed and yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Happy Monday. So today we are starting our day off here at Disney Springs, a newer cookie place just recently opened. They've been doing construction on this place for so long and I'm so excited that it's finally open. It's just a cutesy little brunch and lunch and dinner spot. Connected to the restaurant, they also have a cookie bar where they sell cookies and coffee and sweet treats. So I'm gonna go and grab a cookie and a coffee from there and yeah, let's go. to Summer House on the Lake. First of all, the vibes in there are so adorable. Oh my gosh, it's so beachy, it's so bright. I got a cold brew. So this is their pure black cold brew. I've been sipping on the cold brew already and it's honestly just like a black coffee. It tastes delicious though because obviously I don't have any milk in it but I'm able to drink it and it's just like a pure, beautiful coffee flavor. I asked the people working at the bar what their favorite cookie was and they recommended the lemon cookie. It's a giant cookie and it's a lemon cookie with a marshmallow glaze, which literally, that sounds incredible. Marshmallows are the way to my heart. Oh, that's incredible. Like honestly, 10 out of 10 immediately. Like the sweetness of the cookie and then the plain cold brew, 
is like the best combination ever. I showed it in the B-roll, but I'm currently sitting in their seating area out here in the front, and it is so cute. Like the vibes are amazing. It doesn't even feel like I'm at Disney Springs right now. It feels like I'm on a beach, and it's summertime, and the sun is shining. It's a little bit later. I went on a little hot girl walk at Disney Springs and now I am in the Epcot cast parking lot. You guys are probably wondering, Caitlin, what are you doing in the Epcot cast member parking lot because you work at Magic Kingdom? That's a good question. You guys always ask what it's like to be a Disney cast member. Obviously, that's why you're here. And I'm gonna tell you what it's really like to be a Disney cast member, specifically a part-time Disney cast member. So as a part-time cast member, you are actually not guaranteed any hours. You can get scheduled zero hours a week. At the beginning of every year, we get a whole bunch of new Disney College program participants. And not only that, we also have a whole bunch of international college program participants all getting hired to work here at the parks. So we have a huge influx of new people working with the overlap of all of the older Disney College program participants. So with thousands of new people here to work for Disney, overlapping with thousands of old cast members, the part-timers get scheduled nothing. I got scheduled one shift this week. Just think about that. Think about it. I'm only getting paid for eight hours. Obviously, I am part-time. It was a choice that I made to go part-time, so I can't complain. It's just like a little bit scary. But the good thing about being a merchandise cast member at Disney World is that you could pretty much pick up anywhere. So since I wasn't scheduled in my home location, I picked up shifts in other locations. Hence why I am in the Epcot cast member parking lot. Later this week, I'm going to be working at Epcot and Hollywood Studios. So my mission today is to get the costumes for each of those shifts. If you guys want to know more about about picking up in different locations and Disney costuming and all of that fun stuff. I actually have a video where I worked at all four parks in one week. I'm gonna have it pop up at the top of the screen somewhere here for you guys to click on if you wanted to watch that after this video. But yeah, I go into so much more detail about working at all the parks, but yeah. Let's get some costumes. I just got home and I wanted to show you guys the costumes that I just picked up from Epcot and Hollywood. I'm going to be working at Hollywood Studios tomorrow and I'm going to be working on Sunset Boulevard, which is somewhere I've already picked up. And I got this beautiful costume. It is this skirt with this top. And it is so cute. I've actually worn this costume before, so I'm not gonna be trying it on now, but you'll see me in it tomorrow. The thing that I'm so excited for is working at Epcot because I picked up at Creations where I've never worked before. That is the big store at Epcot. It's kind of like their version of the Emporium. I get to wear the new Epcot costume. Here it is! These costumes actually recently just came out. They're like the brand new Epcot costumes for the new world celebration section. So yeah, I'm gonna try it on right now. This costume and Animal Kingdom's costume are probably the comfiest ones I've ever worn. And it's so cute. I'm pretty sure you're able to wear it like untucked like this or tucked in. I kind of look like a box with it untucked. So I'm gonna try it tucked in. So this is what it looks like tucked in. I added a little belt. I don't know which one I like better, like tucked or untucked. I'm sure I'll figure that out by the time I work there. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I love this costume. Look at how cool it is. It even has the Epcot design on here. Okay, I'm gonna take this off and I have a mission. <laughs> Okay guys, so I am back in my car. I'm currently on a mission. I'm kind of frantic. It is currently 1.45 exactly, and I'm gonna try to make it to Magic Kingdom for the three o'clock parade. It's bold of me to try and do this, but I truly think I can make it. Okay, I can't waste any more time. Let's go to Magic Kingdom. to Magic Kingdom with flying colors. I ended up scanning into the park around 2.25, so I am here with plenty of time to watch the parade. It's been a while since I've seen it. I used to watch it every single day at work. Now that they changed the times of the parade, I don't get to see it as often, so it's been quite a while since I've watched Festival of Fantasy. I'm so excited. I'm gonna find a spot somewhere back there in Frontierland, and you guys are gonna watch the parade with me. So let's go.
Well, we're currently waiting for the show and I got some spring rolls. These are the pizza spring rolls, which I actually have not tried before. They smell like pizza rolls and fun fact, when I was younger, my favorite food was pizza rolls. Okay. Pretty good. The first bite was a lot of breading, but there's all the pepperoni. It's delicious. Out of 10, I would give this like a, a seven and a half. I would get it again, but it's not like my go-to. I would recommend trying it at least once. wanting to buy beignets and the lady was like there's one left and we got it this is what the beignet looks like it's not mickey shaped and it comes with strawberry sauce <laughs> oh my god honestly i'm surprised i didn't get it all over my face 10 out of 10. <laughs> no no the aftermath of the beignets those beignets were so good. Right now they're here for a limited time, but I'm really hoping when Tiana's ride opens, they have a little quick service that will sell the same beignets because these are good. heading out of Magic Kingdom. So to end the day, we ended up going around, shopping in a couple of stores. We went over to Princess Fairytale Hall and we met all of the princesses. So we met Cinderella, Elena, who is a queen, I know. We also met Tiana and Rapunzel. So it was really fun, I'll put the pictures here. I've been training a lot of people recently and I always ask them what their favorite Disney snack is to see if there is anything that I haven't tried yet. A couple of people I've asked recently have said their favorite snack is the candy apple, which I actually don't recall ever trying, so. I got one. I ended up getting a candy apple from the confectionery on the way out and I'm gonna go home and try it and watch a movie and it's gonna be a chill night. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. So today I don't work until later and right now I'm just kind of hanging out. I'm feeling so unproductive today and I was kind of just like beating myself up because I'm like, I should get up, I should go do something, I should go on a run, I should go to the park and film more. I'm telling you guys this because I don't know if you ever feel this way as well. You feel like you need to be productive but your body is so tired you probably need to rest. That's how I'm feeling today. Just a reminder to you guys, not every day has to be productive. You are able to chill and honestly being chill is productive because you're letting yourself get some rest. I'm coming on here to tell you and honestly to convince myself that I need rest and it is okay to rest. I'll see you guys later when I get ready for work. So today I'm going to be working at Hollywood Studios and here is my little costume. It's so fun. It's a little skirt and a little top. People who normally wear this costume at Hollywood Studios call it the strawberry costume, which is pretty fitting giving it's like red and green and it has these little spots. Since my location has no dresses as an option, it's kind of fun to be able to wear one every so often. This is the outfit of the day. I just got home from my Hollywood shift and honestly, it was so much fun. I had no idea this store was part of Sunset Boulevard, but I spent my whole entire shift in the Star Wars store. I literally spent my whole shift playing with lightsabers and I learned how to like do the cool twirly thing. It was honestly a great time and I don't know what it is about Hollywood Studios guests, but every time I'm working there, people are so nice. 
I am so pumped for tomorrow. You guys should be excited for tomorrow too. I'll see you then. Good morning everybody and happy Wednesday. So today is another day off. We're going to be going to Epcot. Obviously I love Epcot. Another reason that I absolutely love it is because there are so many opportunities to meet princesses and characters, especially in the World Showcase. I think it's so cool that they put the princesses in their respective countries. Today's going to be a royalty-focused park day at Epcot. I haven't done a day like this before, so I'm sure it's going to be super fun. And yeah, let's head to Epcot. and right now we are in Akershus. Akershus is the character dining that they have here in Norway. The princesses are the characters that you'll be able to meet here. So we're here for breakfast. I'm so excited because breakfast food is like my favorite thing in the whole entire world. I know all around property breakfast is typically the same. It's always like waffles and eggs and bacon, but you can never go wrong with Disney breakfast. princesses all came in so we got to meet them before even eating I was honestly so scared to eat in front of them they have like different waffles here they're not the typical Mickey waffles so they're shaped like little hearts they're so cute and they're also infused with cardamom so they're a little bit special to Ocker shoes how much do I recommend Ocker shoes 10 out of 10 I 10 out of 10 recommend I feel like it's hard to 10 out of 10 not recommend for me but it's pretty good I recommend we just finished breakfast at Ocker shoes it was so good and it was so much fun meeting all of the princesses. This is one of the very rare places that you get to meet blue dress Ariel, which is obviously Ariel in her blue dress when she's not a mermaid. Well, she still is a mermaid, but she has legs, you know. You know what I mean. We got a little card with all of the princesses' signatures on there. So to continue on with our little princess day that we're having today, we're going to go on Frozen Ever After, the little ride that they have here in Norway. to meet all the characters that they have. Right now we are in the UK. We're waiting in line to meet Alice. I am so excited to meet Alice because I don't recall ever meeting her ever. So this is really exciting. We ended up walking around the World Showcase and seeing a couple more princesses. We ran into Belle. We saw Jasmine for a little, but we didn't get to meet her. And then we saw Snow White. Right now we are in the China Pavilion and we're about to head in to see Mulan as well. Like I said, today was a full princess filled day and it was so much fun. Just because I don't really take too much time out of my park days to meet princesses. So it's just been like something different. I got the figment hat, oh my gosh. We are heading out of Epcot, we're at the front now, but I decided I needed to get the figment hat before I left because I've wanted it for months. I was just like, okay, if I'm thinking about something for long enough, I should get it, so I got it. Hey guys. Happy Thursday, I am currently at work. If you can't tell, I'm in a costume that I haven't worn in so long. So today I'm going to be working at Bawana Bob's, which is the little hat cart in Adventureland. I'm pretty sure it's been like maybe a year, maybe a little bit less than a year since I worked there last, which is so crazy because it's technically one of my home locations. I just don't ever end up getting scheduled there, which is so sad because I love this costume so much because not only is it so fun, but I get to wear my favorite accessories from Adventureland. I get to wear my Adventureland hat. I don't get to wear this hat with any other costume, so 
I need to take it all in today. Let's head into work. I'll see you guys after. All right, guys, I'm back home. It's so funny to see me now compared to me before my shift because it's like before and after. I'm beat up, I'm tired. It was a good shift for sure. I had a lot of fun today, but of course any eight hour shift will take it out of you. So I'm super tired. I need to get ready for bed and go to bed because tomorrow I have an extremely early wake up call. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, happy Friday. I am so tired. I got back home from work last night around 11.30. It's now 7.30 in the morning. I just woke up. It's quite rare that I wake up this early in the morning. It's even more rare that I wake up this early in the morning to go to a park. Surprise, <laughs> I'm going to Magic Kingdom. I'm kind of excited. Today's gonna be an exciting day. So yeah, I have to get ready because I have to leave by like 8.30. So I made it here into Magic Kingdom. It is so crazy being here in the morning because I only ever really come in the afternoon. So the crowds feel very different. It's like a different vibe in the morning, which is really fun. Since it is the morning time and it's time for breakfast, which is my favorite time of the day, I decided that I wanted to try one of the snacks that I've actually never gotten before. I went over to Sleepy Hollow in Liberty Square and I got the fresh fruit Nutella sandwich. Oh my gosh, it's literally a waffle with fresh fruit. So strawberries, blueberries, and bananas and Nutella. That sounds amazing. I finished my waffle. I am stuffed. It was so filling, but it was really really good So you guys are probably wondering why I'm here so early because I never come to the park this early So of course I have to be here for a good reason if you guys don't already know one of my favorite entertainment offerings here at Walt Disney World is the Adventure Friends Cavalcade It's a mini parade with two floats The fun thing about the Adventure Friends Cavalcade is that it has more rare characters that are a little bit harder to find and meet in the parks The Cavalcade used to be in the late afternoon but just recently for the new year they switched it to the morning so that's why I'm here super early the first one's going to be at 10 30 and then there's going to be another one at 11 45 so we're going to watch both of them which I'm so excited about Jamie and Alyssa. Jamie has something special to show you guys. I have 180 mini ducks. <laughs> <laughs> All in color coordinated bags. Who are we here for? Merida. 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 It's so hard to find her in the park now because her garden was handed over to Mirabelle. So now we get to see her in the cavalcade instead. Since it's such a special day to watch the cavalcade today, we're going to chase the cavalcade. If you guys aren't familiar with like chasing the cavalcade or chasing the parade, so you'll watch it in one spot, run through the park, watch it in another spot. And if you're really lucky, you're gonna run through the park again and watch it in a third spot. So one parade, three spots. I don't know if we're gonna get to three, we might get to two, but we're definitely gonna try to chase the cavalcade today and watch it multiple times. So we're starting here at the very beginning in Frontierland. Jamie and Jordan showed up. How was the first cavalcade? Rate it out of 10. Uh, 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 1,000 out of 10. <laughs> We successfully ran, so we started at the very beginning and then we ran all the way to the front of Main Street. Speed walk. Speed you'll walk. Get, you'll get yelled at if you run. Safety begins with me. We're all here. Yay! We're waiting in front of the castle for the, oh, there's the castle. We're waiting in front of the castle for the second cavalcade.
as you guys just saw, we met Stitch in Tomorrowland, and oh my gosh, it was probably the most fun character meet and greet ever. There's like a perfect blue duck that I have in my little collection of ducks right now, and so I was like, I'm gonna give Stitch the blue duck. It went a lot better than expected. We yes. had a whole photo shoot. Stitch was supposed to go hang out with Lilo, but he wanted to hang out with us instead, yeah. so how can you blame him? What should we do? What should we do next? The world is our oyster. I have been... <laughs> That's Should we do that? <laughs> Should we do it? We're in the little double-decker car that goes up and down Main Street. This is so cool. I've never done this before. Have you been up here before? No, I, I rode the little one. There's like a mini version of this. This is what it feels like to be in the rainy day cavalcade, friends, because this is the, the vehicle that they use for the characters. I feel like I'm in the parade. Yes. Hey, guys. <laughs> This morning was so much fun. These are like my favorite days ever where I'm just able to go to the parks and see all of my friends. Even though we didn't get to spend too much time together because we all had to like leave for work and other plans. It was just so much fun to be able to see everybody this morning. I am now at Epcot. So I do have a shift here at Creations, which is their big store at the front of the park. It's currently 1.57. I have a shift at three o'clock. So I'm gonna head into Creations. I'm kind of excited to work there. I did show you guys the costume. So I'll be changing into that shortly. I am so lost. I have no idea how to get there. I'm just sitting here in the park. I have all my stuff. Like I literally have my costumes and my bags just out here. Good morning and happy Saturday. I currently look like a little boy. This morning, I decided that I wanted to start my day with a little run. Something that I've been super into recently have been Disney Resort runs. I've just been running at the Disney World Resorts. It's been so fun. All of them have little designated running trails, so guests are welcome to like go on a little run or a little jog or a little walk around the Disney World Resorts. Today, I'm at Art of Animation and Pop Century. I'm so excited. I did. finished up my run I ended up doing a 5k which is 3.12 miles so this is my first time coming to these resorts for a run before and I definitely recommend I will be coming back in the future because it is so much fun this run ended up going by so fast because there's just so much to look at all around our glass lake but there's so many fun details to each of the buildings at art of animation and pop century it was also really fun to run around the lake because all the way around there were fun facts about Disney animation and the different centuries depending on which side you are on. Another perk of running at the Disney Resort is Disney Resort breakfast. I ended up ordering breakfast at the resort as well so I'm gonna munch on this. Obviously I had to get the waffles. The waffles here are so much fun because they're not Mickey waffles they're actually character waffles. So I have Simba and I also have Ariel. How fun! I saw they also had Lightning McQueen waffles and of course I really wanted a Lightning McQueen waffle but that's okay. I like the two that I got. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this and I'll see you guys later.
little bit later and I'm now in Animal Kingdom. I figured that since I got to spend time in all of the other parks this week that I should take time to come here on the last day for my week in my life. I actually don't think I have been in Animal Kingdom for like two months. So this is my first time back in a very long time and I'm very excited to be here. It's very busy today so I don't know how much I'm going to be able to get done but the weather is beautiful today. Like it's such a good day to be out so I decided to come out instead of staying at home. <laughs> it's already off to kind of a chaotic start but like so fun like good chaotic energy because I walked up to a pin board to see if I wanted to trade any pins and a photo pass photographer came up to me and just randomly started taking pictures like out of nowhere and I was like oh my god so I just like gave him a thumbs up and then after he was done with the little photo sesh he handed me this card so all of the pictures he randomly took are on this card I have no idea how they look but I'm gonna put them in this video and I just think it's so funny So I came over to Africa because there was an iced coffee that I wanted to try here. So as you guys know, my track record with Disney iced coffees has not been great, but I did see another Disney blogger, Emily, try this coffee over in Africa, so I wanted to get it because I definitely needed caffeine today. I honestly forgot what it was called, but I know it's a coconut cold brew, and it's honestly so good. Like straight to the point, this is delicious. This is probably the best iced coffee I've ever gotten in Disney. There's like a strong coconut flavor, so if you guys don't like coconut, I definitely wouldn't recommend. It also is sweetened with condensed milk. It is so good, 10 out of 10. Delicious, cheers. in Animal Kingdom and now I am at the conservation station. I headed over here because I wanted to do the little animation experience. As you guys saw in my last vlog, I did the Animation Academy over at Epcot. That one they only have for the Festival of the Arts, but this one they have year round at Animal Kingdom, which is so fun. I'm gonna head in there. They have one in about half an hour. So yeah, let's go draw something. ended up going to the conservation station over at Rafiki's Planet Watch and I wanted to do the animation experience. When I got there, the class before mine was drawing Mushu, which would have been so perfect because today is actually the start of Chinese New Year and it is the year of the dragon. But I got there for the very last class and we drew Flick from A Bug's Life, which is so fun. I was honestly so scared to draw him at first because he's so detailed, but they actually do help you out by drawing the guidelines already. Here's my little Flick. He's so cute, I love him. I asked you guys to put your Disney crush in a little question box on Instagram one time on my story, and one of you guys put Flick. So whoever that was, this is for you. Don't mind my appearance, oh my gosh. Today has been a full day dedicated to editing. When I first imported all my videos to make this week in my life, I started with three hours of footage. So I'm happy that I was able to condense it down into half an hour um, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Obviously this week was so much fun and it's always so fun to relive my weeks while editing my videos, but yeah, that's all. I'm gonna have another video posted like very soon, like and by very soon I mean in a couple of days so stay tuned for that one but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching make sure you comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye